Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make waterproof stickers using the Cricut Print and Cut feature. I will show you two ways on how to print the cut stickers with Cricut. Individually cut like these ones and removable stickers like these other ones. For this project, we're going to need a color printer. It can be inject or laser. And if you don't have a printer, don't worry. I will show you how to print away from home and get back to cutting with your Cricut machine. Any Cricut machine model is perfect to cut waterproof stickers. Also, we're going to need printable sticker paper. I am using waterproof printable sticker paper glossy or matte. I usually use the Luxotone brand since this one is 100% waterproof. Sometimes I use the Milkost brand. This one is more economic in price. In the video description down below, I will leave the links of all the products, fonts and designs used in this tutorial. I will start with the process, but before I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. I already have a few stickers ready to show you how they will look when we finish with the process. I will show you a few ways in which we can find and download images to make the stickers. The first one is using images from Cricut Access. If you pay the membership, you have access to the majority of the images they have in their gallery. Also, if we don't pay the membership, they have a lot of beautiful free images that we may use. Click on free and you will see the variety of the free designs. For example, I will search for Easter images. These ones over here are the free Easter images. Select the image you wish to use and insert it to the Canva. The other way is by buying and downloading the images from a different online store. For example, these popsicle designs, I bought them from Creative Fabrica. These ones are just the popsicle designs, but I added some details to enhance the stickers. Also, I changed the color to some of them. They come in SVG format, so it's very easy to modify. Besides these two previous options, there are many graphic design stores online that offer free beautiful designs. For example, these three on the bottom can be found on my blog. If you like them, Visit my blog, daisymultifacetica.com, to download them for free. These three over here are from Cricut Access and they are also free. Now I will start working with the design. I will use an image from Cricut Access. Go to Images. I will type Easter. If you don't pay the membership, click on Free. I will select the Easter Bunny and will insert it to the Canva. Here it is. Now I will go to Upload. I will select one of the images I bought from Creative Fabrica. In the description down below, I will leave the links of the images and fonts used in this tutorial. Select and insert it to the Canva. You could go ahead and make the stickers just like this, or you may add more details and text. I will add text under the Easter Bunny. Click on the T and start typing on the Canva. I will type Easter under the Bunny. If you wish to change the font, Click on font up here. If you pay the membership, you have access to most of the fonts 
that Cricut Design Space has to offer. If you don't have the membership, don't worry. Click on System and you will see the list of the fonts you already have on your computer. There is a lot of online stores where you may download beautiful fonts. I will be using fonts from Creative Fabrica. Also, the font has a huge variety of free fonts for personal use. For this sticker, I will use Lattice Font from Creative Fabrica. The links can be found in the description down below. Now I will select the layers, click on Align and will align center horizontally. Select the text, go to operation and change the color. Next, I will select the picture and go to offset. I will add a very thin offset of 0 0.025 just to define the image. And I will do the same with the text. Go to offset. Remember, thicker to the right and thinner to the left. But the thickness of this one will be 0 0.025. And click on apply. You may leave it like this or change the color if you wish. Select all the layers and we're going to add a border to form the sticker. Go to offset again and add a thicker border or offset. The thickness of this one will be 0 0.25. Now go to operation and change the color. I will pick white. We already have the sticker designed with the white border. Select all and click on flatten. You don't see the white border, but it's there. I will insert a rectangle so you may see it. I will send it to the back here on orange. As you can see, here is the sticker designed, ready to be printed and cut. This one was made using a Cricut Access picture. Now I will make another one using an image I bought from Creative Fabrica. I have a little flower here that I will be adding to the popsicles. This one comes in SVG format in layers. We can leave it like this or we can customize. Select and click on group. This is in case your image is in layers and grouped like this one. I am modifying this image as an example. So you see options of how to work with your downloaded images. Select the layers and if you don't see the layers you wish to modify, go to the right, to the layers column. I will select the color layer and will go to operation to change the color. Select the rest of the layers and change the color. Now I will select this flower and will add a thin offset just to define it. The thickness will be 0 0.025. Change the color if you wish and select all and group it. Now I can use it to decorate the yellow popsicle. I love how it looks. I will add text, go to the T on the left, click on the canvas and start typing. Change the font type if you wish, go to fonts. I am going to use one that is called Artist from Creative Fabrica. I love this font. Now change the color. Select the pictures, group them. Then select all the layers and go to Align and click on Align 
center horizontally. Now select all the layers again and click on offset. We're going to add a thick border or a thick offset. The thickness will be 0 0.25. Click on apply. Change the color to white. I see there is a spot on the offset. I will show you how to remove those spots. Select it, click on Couture, click on the spot to remove it. Now select all the layers again and click on Flatten. Here is the sticker designed, ready to be printed and cut. This one was created using a design from Creative Fabrica. And this other one with a free image from Cricut Access Gallery. I will go to the sticker images I showed you before so I can show you how to print several stickers in one page. To print several stickers in one page, insert a square Open the lock and resize it to 9.25 to 6.75 inches. That is the biggest we can print and cut with Cricut. Start arranging the stickers inside this rectangle. Insert as many as you can so we don't waste the page. There they are. Now remove the rectangle. Select all the sticker images and click on attach. Like this we will be able to print all six in one page. The ones on the bottom are ready to be printed and cut. Erase the rectangle and go to make it. Is printing six in one page. The quantity will depend on the size of the stickers. These ones are no bigger than three and a half inches. Click continue and send to print. Here select the printer you are using, uncheck the bleed, check use system dialog and click on print. Select the printer again and click on preferences. It's very important to change the preferences according to the paper we are printing. Like this, we will obtain a high quality sticker that will not peel off. I use printable sticker paper in glossy or matte. For this paper, I will select photo printing. On media type, select either glossy or matte photo paper. In quality, select high. On paper size, select letter size. Click OK and print. If you would like to print and cut these stickers and don't have a printer, send to printer and instead of selecting your printer, you're going to select Microsoft Print to PDF. Uncheck the bleed and click on print. Then save it in a folder easy for you to find and you may send it to print at a printing company and come back to cut it with your Cricut machine. Now we're going to select the material we're going to cut. There are two ways we may cut the stickers. Removable stickers in one page or cut out stickers. Go to all materials and type sticker. If you wish to cut the removable stickers in one page, select a sticker paper removable. 
If you wish to make cut out stickers, select printable sticker paper white. Now I will select sticker paper removable. Then I will cut cut out stickers to show you the final result. Click on done and go to the Cricut machine to cut. To print my stickers, I am using an inject Canon Pixma Mega Tank printer. You may use any color printer, either inject or laser. This one is printed in matte waterproof sticker paper and this other one in glossy sticker paper, also waterproof. It is very important to well align the paper on the cutting mat. Now let's go to the Cricut machine. These ones will be cut out stickers. Here are the cut out stickers. It did not cut this one, I don't know why. And this is how the cut out stickers look like. These stickers are perfect for any occasion. These are the individually cut stickers. Now these ones are the removable stickers. You can make them in one page. These three on top were created using images from Cricut Design Space. The ones on the bottom can be downloaded from my blog. These ones are free download. And these last ones were bought from Creative Fabrica. I changed the colors on some of them and added more details. The flower, I found it in Cricut Design Space. In the description down below, I will leave the links of all the images, fonts and supplies used for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please do not forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.